That's Sunday night football. Monday night, it's a game I, a few weeks ago looked like it'd be a lot bigger than it is right now. Browns, Steelers, uh, Brady got a win for, for either one of these teams to keep any kind of playoff hopes alive. Yeah, I think the under's the best play here, the way the two offenses have looked at this point in time. Uh, but look, the Steelers have a hard time at times stopping the run. So I think that's where the Cleveland's going to hang their hat. They averaged, what, almost nine yards a carry last week, if not for the turnovers uh, that clearly impacted that game. Uh, they're right in there with it. In fact, towards the end, I was almost thinking, instead of throwing, uh, why not just hand the football off? I mean, you're literally running almost for a first down every time. But that's last week. Th this week will be a different challenge. I think an under is a good play again here. But I'm going to take the three points and the fact that Steelers are a home underdog. Uh, bottom line is this, this might be the last time Big Ben gets to face uh, a team that passed him up when he was coming out in the draft, given that he is an Ohio boy. And I do think they'll be able to do enough to be able to win this game, potentially spoil things for Cleveland. Uh, but, you know, it's hard to get a good feel the way the Browns played last week, as, as bad as it, uh, it looked for Baker in particular, uh, but also as bad as the offense has been for Pittsburgh. I mean, Matt Cannon is another one of those OCs that they've really got to take a good look at in the offseason and figure out if they can upgrade at that position, bring someone in who can bring more creativity and do more with some of their playmakers. Well, they also need to find a quarterback. I mean, uh, this is it for Ben Roethlisberger, and he hasn't played well lately. I do think they're going to play well here. Uh, I think the Cleveland Browns, yeah, they can run the ball, and Pittsburgh's had problems stopping the run. But this is one of those situations where Mike Tomlin will get his group together. I don't think you're going to need the points. I think they win this game outright. I thought they would cover last week against Kansas City. They were awful in that game. They'll bounce back, play better here, uh, and they will win this game. Uh, Sportsline has done the simulations. They've run the numbers, given the Steelers a 17% chance to make the postseason, given the Browns a 9% chance. So still hope for both of these teams, but absolutely have to win this game and see how everything else unfolds this week. Interesting week, Pete, because there's no Thursday night football, no Saturday games anymore, so Sunday's going to be a lot of fun. Sunday's going to be fun, and there's so much jockeying going on and so many you know, things at stake in terms of seeding and that type of thing. I mean, most of the teams have been settled in, in the NFC, but there's still a lot of jockeying going on. Brady, last thoughts as we head into week 17. Uh, it's a great week. I love what the NFL schedule makers did, essentially pairing a bunch of divisional matchups, uh, which is why we've got meaningful games now towards the end of the season, at least for seeding purposes. Uh, but no, I, I love what they've done with the schedule. I hope they continue to keep doing this where it's backloaded with divisional games. All right, Brady Quinn, Pete Prisco. Uh, it's it's tight race. Pete's up by two with two weeks to go in our picks. Separation here. Sunday. <laughs> Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.